On December 7, 1937, brothers Chris, Don, and Roy Deach opened a confectionery and bakery store, solidifying their place in history as the sweetest men in Hancock County. After acquiring Rogie's Bakery, located on the northeast corner of West Main Cross and Liberty Street, they soon discontinued baking bread and opened their first candy and ice cream store. Well, we started in 1937, my dad and two of his brothers, and they bought a bakery that was going out of business, uh, Rogie's Bakery, and they got rid of the baked goods and uh, kept the, went into the candy and ice cream business. In 1955, the brothers began construction on a new store on the northeast corner of West Main Cross and Liberty Street in Finley, Ohio. A year later, they moved 50 feet across the alley to their current location on the northwest corner of Liberty Street at 400 West Main Cross. In 1972, they opened another site on the east side of Finley, located at 1217 Tiffin Avenue. After Brother Chris died in 1971, the brothers began the process of preparing and entrusting the younger generation of Deaches with the baking secrets. Although 82-year-old Roy and 85-year-old Don still work part-time, today they rely on Rick, Tom, and Jeff to manage daily operations of both stores with the help of 50 employees. For 65 years, the Deach brothers have relied upon the quality and tradition of their product as they continue to make their own delightful toppings for ice cream, as well as their own creative molds for candy bars. Jeff Deach reveals that every step in making chocolate is very critical, from temperature to mixing to the final hardening of the shell. The quality of chocolate is as unique in its flavor as is the taste of the consumer and baker. Well, most, well it starts with cookie. You cook your candy, whatever it is, most your center because in it, most of those are um, sugar, corn syrup, and water is the basic ingredient. Um, then it's just a matter of how, what temperature you cook it to to what you're making. Uh, then you'd add your flavor if you needed to or whatever, form it up into the shape you want, and then we start it through what we call an enrober. And we put about, we run bottomers on there that put, pre-put uh, chocolate on the bottom of the piece, and then it goes through a, looks like a waterfall of chocolate that coats the top and then we mark or letter the piece, whatever's in it, goes on down into a cooling tunnel and uh, comes out the other end ready to be used. Same process we've been using, same basic equipment and make it still the same way. Right now our plans are to keep making it the same way we have been. Uh, you never know if you'll be able to get the products in that and to be able to do it, but as of now, we can. Ice cream has also been prepared the same way since the opening of the store. The ice cream is maintained in a freezer at 20 below zero degrees Fahrenheit. So, what is the most popular ice cream flavor in most recent edition? Again, Jeff Deach. Vanilla is the biggest seller. And then probably butter pecan or uh, chocolate maybe fall in there next. Although the reputation of the company has been its tradition, but what about the company's future? Will you be able to buy your favorite ice cream and chocolate over the internet in the future? Well, we've talked about it, but currently we're going to stay away from that. And I, right now we can pretty well sell all the candy we can get made coming into Christmas, which is the big holiday. And uh, so we're kind of a little uh, thinking that if the internet works too well, we might not be able to supply everybody. Chocolate is more popular than ever, and ice cream flavors have reached over 30 different flavors. Deach's sales have reached over 100,000 pounds of candy and nearly 55,000 gallons of ice cream annually. Box candy is also sold at a limited number of area hospitals, bookstores, and card shops. Candy bars have even been molded to resemble logos of dishwashers, dryers, courthouses, and corporate headquarters of their product. As a result, their celebrated brand of chocolate and ice cream has succeeded with little or no advertising. By maintaining their tradition and quality, they have successfully managed to coexist with the larger candy makers. 
In 2002, their candy made its debut on the New York Stock Exchange when Gary Hemminger, president of Marathon Ashland Petroleum, rang the opening bell and passed out candy bars to the traders on the floor. Whether you heard it by word of mouth or you discovered it on your own, people continue to visit from all over the region to be part of the Deitch's experience. We don't advertise much, uh, pretty much rely on word of mouth, and it, so far it's worked very well. Whatever the event, summer or winter, when it's over and you're in Finley, the Deitch Brothers Candy and Ice Cream Store is where you go. The choice for the young and the old is more than just a sweet destination, it's a tradition.